here at the moment in the Mediterranean. Why am I here? Well, I'm here purely because, uh, as a good friend of mine said, Dan Priestley, who's a, as a mentor of mine, he says environment dictates performance. And so if you surround yourself with, uh, with, with an environment that's going to energize you, that's going to give you uh, passion, that's going to give you, that's going to help maximize your productivity, uh, that's going to bring the best out of you, then you've got to change your environment if you have not already done so. This is the Game Changers Experience. Deep dive conversations with leading business disruptors, Olympic athletes, celebrities, entrepreneurs, and influencers from around the world. This show will teach you insights about the winning principles in mindset, productivity, marketing, branding, entrepreneurship, business strategy, and more. Hosted by Productivity Authority, business strategist, former elite athlete, author, and public speaker, Adam Strong. I, I wasn't depressed. It wasn't depression at all. But I'd, I'd really kind of come under a lot of pressure on myself. I put so much weight on my shoulders and, and I became very overwhelmed more than anything else. Uh, of being able to, there was, a, there was a, also some other life-changing events that happened during that, during that three-month period. You know, I mean, moving house is stressful in its own right. And, uh, you know, and then you've got someone else who moves in with you who isn't familiar with the environment and that kind of stuff. And, and uh, having young kids as well, which has its own pressures as well. But anyway, cut a long story short, um, I reached out to uh, a good friend of mine because I knew I didn't want to go to the doctors because I knew they'd prescribe some sort of medicine or medication, which I just didn't see. I didn't see the benefit of that because of, uh, you know, I just didn't see the benefit of that. So I reached out to a good friend of mine who's probably one of the most credible life coaches in the UK. And we sat down. And he, and he asked me, you know, what's going on? And I was like, you know, I'm losing my memory and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And they're like, wow, um, Adam, uh, you are not well. Uh, and, then, and then it all came crashing down, literally came crashing down like a ton of bricks um, with this realization that I wasn't well, literally wasn't well uh, mentally. And it was affecting everything. And so I really needed to, um, needed to take a step back and take some time out. And uh, I literally had to stop work pretty much for the best part of around three or four months, just so that I could keep, I, I was working, but I was um, just doing sort of for a few hours here, a few hours there, think, you know, just being able to, so I could cope. So my coping mechanisms were essentially were just pushed to the limit and I just couldn't cope anymore. And I put this huge amount of pressure on myself. And so one of the things that, uh, you know, for me, getting help was the number one priority for me. And he helps me a lot. Um, you know, and that's the sign of a strength of a leader is to ask for help. You know, we all need help. Uh, whether you're running a business uh, or being an entrepreneur, we all need help. We all don't have the answers to uh, what, whatever challenges that we're going through right now. And for me, um, you know, I did get the help. Uh, and I did make a recovery, which was great. But one of the things that we become, especially when we become stressed a lot, and we put ourselves under a huge amount of pressure is that we start to reduce our per uh, perceptional awareness of our surroundings, our environment, uh, you know, our care and stuff like that. So some of the things that helped me, especially with regards to health and happiness in particular, is I started creating or writing out a gratitude journal. Uh, about things that I most value or the things that I've achieved with myself. Cause I, I, I had the impression that I wasn't achieving anything. I felt useless. I felt, so there was a lot of self-esteem and self-confidence issues that came off the back of that. But I spanned that around. I turned it around. I'm like, do you know what? These, these are the things that I've achieved. And I, I, was, I, I, I list so many of them and, uh, and it made me feel good. It was kind of this injection of, of feel good energy, which made me, really turned things around for me, but it did take me a good six months to get my memory back, uh, to really be me. You know, it really did take a uh, quite a while. In fact, it was maybe even sort of six to nine months before I really got things, uh, back into the full swing of things. So I just wanted to jump on here. Now, if you're listening to me and you're listening to my stories right now, okay. I'd love to know more about 
what health, wealth, and happiness means to you? And can you have it all? Because for me, my realization is that, yes, you can. I'm here in the Mediterranean, as an example. I'm here at the moment in the Mediterranean. Why am I here? Well, I'm here purely because, uh, as a good friend of mine said, Dan Priestley, who's a, a mentor of mine, he says, environment dictates performance. And so if you surround yourself with, uh, with, with an environment that's going to energize you, that's going to give you uh, passion, that's going to give you, that's going to help maximize your productivity, uh, that's going to bring the best out of you, then you've got to change your environment if you have not already done so. So this is the reason why I'm here in Cyprus. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for listening to today's episode. I would love to hear from you guys. Please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell button below so that you don't miss out on some of the episodes that we've got coming up. Also, please make a comment in the comment section below. We are reaching out to some of our listeners so that we can get to an understanding about how we can personalize some of the great content that we've got coming out based on your needs and aspirations. My other word of advice as well is to go to our amazing Facebook community where you can meet other creative entrepreneurs and business owners. Introduce yourself, say hi, mention about some of the amazing breakthroughs that you're getting through some of the episodes and network, right? Grow your business. You are with who you become with the five most common people you hang around with. So listen, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.